today I'm going to show you how to take out saliva stains. Now, if you don't have kids, you're probably going, so, like, wash it? But if you have kids, you realize that saliva has a lot of proteins in it. And it does stain, and babies do drool. So this is what you're going to do. First of all, you're never going to put warm water or hot water on a saliva stain. It cooks it and it makes it almost impossible to take that out. And if I didn't gag you and you're still with me, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take about five tablespoons of baking soda. A big spoon over here, and we're gonna just put it into a bowl so that we can mix it up. Then to that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons or so of white vinegar. And you're gonna get foaming because remember, acid and alkaline, when it combines, it causes that foaming. And to that, we're gonna add just a good squirt of your favorite liquid soap. Then I'm gonna give it a stir, just like this. Now, if you want to, you can put this into a squirt bottle. If you have a lot of problems with the saliva when the kids are drooling, do that, it's easier. If it's only an occasional thing, you can mix it up in a bowl. Now, I've got some saliva right here and I hope you can kind of see that, a little harder to see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mixture and I wanna make sure I get it mixed up. So remember, if you're using a squirt bottle, shake it well. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm going to lay that on to that saliva stain. Then I'm just gonna walk away for a few minutes and leave it. So give it 15 or 20 minutes. Remember, if you're in the middle of something, you don't have to rush back. What I usually do is I'll set a timer, I'll tell Alexa to set a timer for me, and then I go back in about 15 or 20 minutes. Then you're gonna take a soft brush. Now, I use just a soft toothbrush, an old one. And you're gonna start and you're gonna work that in. And you're just gonna work it in really well. Once you've done that, rinse it. Look and be sure that stain is gone. If you still see some, repeat this procedure until you get it out. If it's gone, all you have to do is launder as usual and you're done. So saliva stains, you can remove those. They don't have to ruin your baby clothes and it's easy and quick doing it the queen way. For more information, go to queenofclean.com. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean.